Hello everyone and welcome to the third Rumble in the Realm powered up by Corsair. My name is Brunch and joining me here tonight is my wonderful co-caster Gummy. How are you hey doing, guys. man? Doing pretty good. How are you doing, Brunch? I'm absolutely amazing <laughs> because we have some really exciting matches coming up tonight. Of course, we had uh, part of my Le the Legion BNS team, the uh, qualifier tournament last weekend for both yep. EU and NA. And we managed to narrow it down to four last players for uh, tonight's matches. And uh, just to run it real quick, we will have Tenna on that first place finish uh, with, uh, mm -hmm. War of course, being on Warlock. Uh, second seed owned by Ryuki uh, yep. on that assassin, looking to <laughs> maybe once again finish uh, higher Hopefully than the not second. second. As, <laughs> yeah. As uh, this would be his uh, a hat trick for him, actually. Yeah. Uh, he managed to uh, play second both previous Rumble in the Realms. So we'll see if he can do any better tonight. But uh, one interesting thing is that we, uh, alongside these two players, we also have two Soul Fighters with uh, Bio, well known face in the competitive scene, of course. We've seen him in previous tournaments. But Shichisu, who has played exceptionally well managed to get in the winner's bracket finals to face off against Tenna in a pretty devastating matchup, but still uh, yeah. fighting really, really exceptionally and uh, proving a point that uh, they're a uh, face to be reckoned with in mm -hmm. the EU scene. So it's going to be really interesting to watch for sure. Yeah. And just uh, looking back at it, Gummy, what do you expect overall tonight? Um, uh, it's really hard to kind of say just because we don't really know what these players are going to be bringing in, but with the typical, um, you know, the current bracket, it's Tenna versus Chichisu and then, uh, Ryuki versus Bio, right? So, uh, both contestants, they're going to be having to fight off Soul Fighter. So Soul Fighter is going to be the really big class to be watching out for because, you know, it's actually ha just half of top four, right? Um, and so the Soul Fighters, I, I personally think Soul Fighter tends to have Pretty good matchups overall. It's something to be uh, keeping an eye out for, especially with things like the HP increase or large amount of iframes. They definitely can catch you out and just deal suddenly just pretty big bursts of damage. But of course, you know, just things like Warlock, it can also, it can do that just as easily with things like Soulburn, Time Distortion. So it's really big things to be watching out for. But I think if the Soul Fighters play defensively well enough, they can easily survive cooldowns like Time Distortion or even Soulburn as long as they're using their iframes to the best of their ability. As long as that what, almost 20,000 HP increase, something like that, which is crazy. Depends whether you have the HM version spec or not. Definitely, and uh, we'll find out soon as we should be getting ready to head into our first matchup of tonight. But before we do that, I want to once again mention our awesome sponsors, Corsair, uh, and bringing some amazing prizes for all of these participants here tonight. As you can see on your screen, first place prize, definitely one, two, be looking out for alongside the others and uh again once again gummy touched upon it briefly but as you will be able to see in the terms of the brackets we will have uh first up tina versus bio and then followed up by ryuki versus Shichisu. it is a double elimination style tourney so uh once somebody loses they still have a second chance at redemption so it's not gonna be uh to it's gonna give the contestants enough room to work with when it comes to the strategies their game plans they will be able to swap things around uh come in at the second time and as you said uh, both Tenai and ryuki will be fighting against uh two soul fighters respectively and then mm -hmm. we'll see uh which will be able to make it through especially when it comes to the winner's side of things and then in the winner's bracket grand finals it will be a best of three of spars so it's gonna be even more so uh, interesting in terms of what players in general are gonna bring out because when it came to the north american qualifiers we've seen some really peculiar things especially oh, yeah. out of the kung fu masters and <laughs> even out of soul fighters in general you have that option to swap out uh the tundra and even the um ripple um the ripple mm -hmm. punch oh, and yeah. uh we'll see what all of these players will bring here tonight but as said, players should be ready to go. Uh, first up, once again, Tenna versus Bio, Warlock versus Soul Fighter. And considering how dominant Tenna was last weekend, uh, oh, yeah. it's really tough one to 
make a case for Bio to get a win here on the board, but what do you say are the big things here, Gummy, for Bio to... What, which are the big openings he can have, and what should he do to play around Soulburn or Time Distortion, whichever um, will be the case? Okay, so typically I find the best way to is if you can get the opener usually in this matchup against the Warlock, kind of put, make them play on a back foot. They usually do struggle out. If you win the opener, because usually at the start, a Warlock will not typically summon out something like their Thrall, which is a really big thing to be watching out for. Um, if their Thrall is not available, you can usually end up forcing out the Tab Escape early, which is a really big thing. And then they end up do something with Thrall, and then all the, their only option would be to Thrall swap, right? They don't really have much else. They don't want to burn Time Distortion. Time Distortion or Soulburn is usually wanted to be used a little more aggressively than defensively if they can. But um, if you can sort of force out those early cooldowns out of Tenna, it'd be a really big deal. But of course, try to maybe sell, say something like self-defense chi or a lot of his strays for when that time distortion slash Soulburn does end up coming up. That's definitely going to be something that he wants to be looking out for here. So we'll see if he's able to do that this time around. And it All looks right. like, though, our first round is finally starting up, guys. So we're going to be jumping right into the action. Bio versus Tenna, guys. Give your energy. Let's see who can win the first round of the Rumble. Here we go, guys. Repulse already going to be used. Self-defense Chi is going off right here into the Burning Tundra. Same thing going to be down on the ground. Thrall is now summoned out as well. But the rip ground ripple going to be knocking Tenna right out of that thing. And Prison going to be fighting right back. Follows up with the Leech into the aerial chains here. Right after Aerial Thrall, stun coming in. Aerial Thrall once again here, taking a lot of damage. Bio already down to 36% HP here. Flicking around, trying to get the follow-up with the Glacial Beam. Will miss. Next day, we're going to be coming down. There is the Aerial Damage up from Bio's side. Does manage to follow up with the Leg Sweep. The Thrall still going to be keeping Tenna safe. Soulburn is not going off. Tab Escape burned out by Bio. Blinking away, Tenna now trying to catch up. Cooldowns are reset. Bastion going off and Prison out. Tether Blade, though, going to actually miss off of the Ephral here. Dragon Call coming out, going to be binding him down with the chains. Tenna trying to finish off his opponent, but Bio down to 14% HP. Burning Tundra slowly chipping away at Tenna's HP. Thrall coming back in though with the stun, 1%, and that's a finish already from Tenna. And as said, Tenna already displaying his dominance. We'll see if he can keep it up. Alrighty, but here it goes, guys. Bio going in, but Tetherblade gonna be catching out Bio immediately. Double aerial chains gonna be coming out here from Tenna. Already down to 60% HP. There is the Leech. Thrall is summoned. Dragon Call not gonna be able to get the damage thrown right into the self defense G aerial from Tenna, though. Glacial Beam going to be getting used here. Burning Tundra only being used on the Thrall there, sadly, and getting KD. Tenna now having to use the Thrall swap to escape out of that. Just gathering up that Sanctum buff once again. Bastion now taking away on him for another five seconds. Thrall thrown in, and actually the stun countered here. Tetherblade not going to be able to get the follow-up, though, here for Tenna. Going to be F-rolling right out of that, though. Tenna now following up double aerial chains right here. Dragon Call coming down, and tons of damage from the Soulburn. And uh, Tenna opening up here in style, already getting that first win on oh, yeah. the board. And uh, it was unfortunate for Bio. There was a small window there where he even, I believe, uh, managed to hit the Frawl with a Glacial Beam instead of Tenna. So not exactly what he was looking for, mm -hmm. but still, even with that being said, it was really an uphill battle for uh, the Soul Fighter here Come up, oh, yeah. coming up versus Tenna. And as a result, Tenna looking strong as ever, looking poised to potentially win another Rumble in the realm, will be advancing for the bracket and Oh man, uh, already looking on fire and looking potentially oh, yeah. unstoppable here. <laughs> so very fast first series on our hands. We'll see what the second one will hold. Of course, once again, it will be between Ryuki and Shichisu. Shichisu, as said, mm. more of a newcomer when it comes to the tournament scene. Another soul fighter, but he has been playing exceptionally. And uh, on top of that, Ryuki has definitely express his um, dissatisfaction when it comes to facing soul fighters as of late and he doesn't really seem to be too confident coming to, coming into uh, this tournament so we'll see if he can uh, manage to bring that back up and we all know how well he can play and he's the type of assassin that is just absolutely pretty much surgical when it comes to his performance just because he plays so cleanly so We'll see what he can do here as we're already getting ready to head in. Once again, Ryuki versus Shichisu. First round is a go. 
as the position swap already connecting, followed up by the launch from Ryuki. Mine is down, Flower as well, just to keep him safe. But Tab Escape was used by the Soul Fighter self defense. She to follow suit. Ryuki is that Lotus here. He tries to re engage, but doesn't get to do so. Still manages to go back in with the stun, and this is already looking grim for Shishisu, being once again. Uh, punished on that tech chase now once more and Ryuki has the mind down follows it up with a moths and the aggression is relentless Ryuki had exceptional performance coming in to our first round she sees you down and out at five percent final tap once more and a beautiful 100 to oh my god of Ryuki and what a fast paced round once again yeah definitely quick, quick fire game. matches but second round will start. Ryuki will open up defensively once more. X Stealth is good. Shichisu trying to find an opening, but already using his cooldowns defensively, anticipating Ryuki his initiation by the counter. It go off. Still, Shichisu will be webbed down. Mine is also on the ground. Once more, being dazed off. Knocked into the ground, and Shichisu will be able to at least get the daze off of the tab escape now we'll try to look for an opening gets the stun now tundra is also down ryuki dropping to 63 percent shichisu finally catching some air trying to potentially stay safe but no ryuki still getting the position swap will be good shichisu now webbed on the ground once again we'll be looking for that tab escape but will still be out of the question for a few more seconds shichisu down at 20 percent can ryuki close it off before that cooldown comes up spinal tap two percent and Ryuki, once more, gets a 2-0 clean victory over his opponent. GG. And so far, what, oh my. what a uh, fast-paced tournament we have in our hands, Gummy. Yeah, definitely a really uh, quick game's already coming out, but right there, you know, we saw in the first round, he kind of, I, I feel he probably just burnt his tab escape just way too early, you know, Ryuki kind of just getting off the 100-0 um, combo. Almost, pretty much just with ease, you know, after the F rolls down, you can just keep laying down CCs constantly and dealing a lot of damage out. And of course, you know, even though they have that really large HP increase, it really won't matter if, you know, you have to wait 36 seconds. It's definitely plenty of time for a, an assassin to be able to burn through your health. So it's definitely something to be watching out for. And of course, you know, he's kind of struggling there in the open in the second round a little bit. We saw, you know, the ground ripple miss, and then he had to use self-defense she defensively. He was just kind of having to play on a back foot for a majority of the match, which was a bit unfortunate. But who knows? He might be able to just turn it around over in the loser's bracket. Still, uh, really well played by Ryuki. It does seem like uh, some of those nerves might not come into fruition here. And as you mentioned, I do definitely agree with the fact that it seems like Shichisu really burned his tab escape, that second one way too early. Uh, especially in the first round. Second round was a bit better, mm -hmm. as he did manage to get the days off onto his opponent. But still, not enough as he managed to only drop him by 40% HP or so. But, once again, uh, as you can see, these contestants are fighting for some exceptional prizes. Huge shoutouts to Corsair once more as they uh, managed to power up the tournament and give our contestants some really awesome prizes. I'm definitely uh, jealous of those MMO mice and the MX uh, Red Cherry uh, Switches keyboard because oh, yeah. MX Red is my personal favorite. So we'll see which one will be able to get a first prize win as we will already be moving on to Tenna versus Ryuki. And this is a rematch when it comes to Rumble in the Realm. And uh, it's a really tough one to call, but Gummy, take it away. All right, here we go, guys. We'll be seeing what the options are from both sides. Time Distortion, maybe from Tenna. Ice Mine is probably the choice of mine here for Ryuki as well, but he's going to be dashing right in. Body Swap, though, thrown right into the SS. CI Frame going to be thrown into the Repulse there, trying to wait it out. Imprison is going to get used. Leech for the fall. Flower waiting off to the side, though, and Ryuki does decide to use that before the Thrall can get the aerial here. SS out from Tenna. Goes for the chains, but not going to be able to get the connection, calling back the Thrall now. X Stealth is popped. Bastion to avoid out the Bolt Strike here. Trying to catch him out of Stealth here with the Wingstorm. Finally does manage to do it. Stun not going to be able to connect though. Beck going to be used once again. And here goes the Time Distortion out of Tenna. Bastion is going to get used. But Ryuki though, just running away, trying to play it back. Tab Escape will be used after the Thrall gets thrown in. But Ryuki is still setting out about 66% HP. Not at all too bad. 
Gonna be dashing right back in. I framing to avoid that repulse. And Prism will get the connection though. And no follow up here on the tech roll for Tenna. Knocked down to the ground, and he is actually using Dragon Helix here. Tetherblade coming in, though, and Ryuki dropped to 8% HP. Poison Breath, though, to heal him up a slight bit. Going up into the aerial, Tenna going to be getting webbed down here. Flower is available once again for Ryuki. This is his chance to be going off. Trying to get follow up, not going to get the land on the dagger here for Ryuki. They're all going to be coming back, though. Sanctum down to keep Tenna safe a little bit longer. Tenna's still healing up as well. 61% HP on his side, Ryuki at 12%. Guard Break Chain's not gonna be able to get any sort of connection here for him. But the decoy is propped by the Thrall. Bastion though to keep Tenna safe, and that's a finish by Tenna. Just getting the Tether Blade and throwing in one more RMB. And Ryuki, good patience in that opener to wait it out on the flower usage to make sure he gets out of danger, but still not enough. Yep, here it goes though. Tenna now going out. SS does avoid the body swap as well. Repulse to avoid any sort of engage out from Ryuki. Poison Breath though coming in with the lightning strike to deal out nearly half of Tenna's HP. But he will slowly be healing that up over a little bit of time, waiting out to summon this thrall as well. Probably maximize out the timer as much as possible. X Dagger though now in the back of Tenna. Guard Break Chain's not going to be quiet getting the fall he's looking for though. And actually, the Pulse is going to be avoiding out that Imprison here. Ryuki now in Invis, trying to wait out. Q avoids the Tether Blade, but Thrall coming back in to save the day. One recovery from Tenna. Time Distortion now going off. There is the Flower still waiting up to the side, and Ryuki just dashing to the opposite side of the arena, but Thrall flying across the map. Going to be procking out that Flower, though, here as well. Party Decoy, though, seemingly wasted here for him. Repulse going to be able to get that iframe on the x Tiger as well. Imprison coming down. Leech is popped. And the tab escape burned out from Ryuki, now having to wait out for some time to do anything here. Going to be assisting back Tenna now using that wing storm. Guard break chain's not going to do anything. Followed by the body swap on the F roll here from Ryuki. Going to be dropping down Tenna here, using out that web, getting the dagger, poison breath for more damage and extra sustain, bringing out the HP bars. Relatively the same, and actually X dagger going to be canceling out that thrall summon. But Tenna now able to just resummon it due to him being untargetable. Shadow Strike. Not going to be doing a whole lot there for Ryuki either. <laughs> Calling back the Thrall now. Dave's mine for the F roll, but not going to be able to land the body swap here, unfortunately. Thrall coming in. Stun into the aerial as well. Beckoning it back now. Tenna trying to wait out. Repulse to knock Ryuki back. Falls up here with the leech, forcing out the flyer. And now has that bonus damage though. Tenna looking to use this as much as possible. Ryuki using the HM or the party decoy, I should say. X Stealth not going to be able to do it here for him though. And does manage to get kicked. He's going to be going up into the air, dropping down the mine into the web. Bolt Strike going to be coming down. Tenna down to 20% HP. Forced to use the Tab Escape. Thrall not available. Wingstorm coming down. Not looking too bright here for Tenna. F rolls back after the mine. Here comes the time distortion though. Just saved him in the nick of time. Oh. And Ryuki. Almost pulling it off, but Tenna just pulling it off slightly better here in the end. And that's the danger you face when coming up against the Warlock, especially considering, okay, even if uh, one were to use Time Warp in that first Thrall uh, lifespan, if you will, the first time uh, it comes back up, they will already have that cooldown back in. Tenna having Time Distortion up for that last bit of HP percentage means that he could get Bastion up, get a bit of health back, make sure he's safe, and also close it out in the end. So Ryuki, again, a uh, nice adaptation in coming into that second round and getting oh so close, but not close enough, unfortunately, for him. Mm -hmm. So already, Tenna looking mighty fine, looking strong as ever, and of course, as we all know in the current patch, Warlocks are pretty good. And in the hands of somebody as skilled as Tenna makes it even that much more deadly. Mm -hmm. And as a result, Tenna already waiting on his opponent in that grand final. So really awesome stuff coming out of him. Unfortunately for Ryuki, even um, in that second round, I did see him miss Shadow Slash alongside mm -hmm. the position swap. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. those two things, if they were to have connected, Maybe, just maybe, he could have still, uh, it would have been enough to close out that round. But yeah. We'll see if he will get a chance at a rematch as we will already move on to the next one, which is going to be a Soul Fighter mirror matchup. And it's going to be Bio versus Shichisu. Mm -hmm. And um, again, do you expect anything 
in terms of variation or just mostly both players when playing it standard defensively and just try to uh, be the better soul fighter overall just um, winning out on these small advantages i don't really think there's going to be any big surprises here with this matchup typically um it, it, it's just a, it's a lot of strafing a lot of eye framing and it, it kind of just goes back and forth you know both classes being a single trinket class Typically, getting the first engage with the stun is going to be the bigger thing to be watching out here for if you can manage to combo out your opponent. And of course, uh, not dropping is going to be like huge here. If you're consistently keeping the combos, uh, you're going to be able to force the tab escape pretty easily. But of course, they do both have the HP increases, so it's going to be interesting to see whether they're going to be able to burn through the HP bars as soon as they possibly want, just because they are going to have to deal with a lot of health. And we'll see if they can do just that as we will be moving on to the match once more. We'll have Bayo on the blue hand side and Shichisu in red. Once again, Bayo, the veteran soul fighter here. Shichisu, the newcomer, the glimmer of hope for new soul fighters all around. But we'll see who will come out on top as the first round will start. Bayo repping with some uh, really interesting costume choice there as once again tundra is down self-defense she up and available for both players strafes are still good but the ground ripple will connect and already forced to use that tab escape chichisu opening up aggressively but the return tab escape is good air launch you follow it up and bio looking really good here way to sit out and chichisu now manages to get out of it for now tries to go in with the ankle biter but still the strafes are good. Bio manages to connect with the uh, ankle biter of his own, and Shichisu finally answering gets the glacial beam stun. Or in Trunda will be down. Bio assessing out of it for now, still gets the glacial beam once more. And now looking for another opening, gets the air launch, and Shichisu in trouble gets stunned up once again. But the tab escape was up and ready. Now, once more, Bio will answer with the tab escape of his own. Self defense, she is up for both players. As Bio once more, just one step ahead of his opponent, Shichisu, for an upper 2D air down at 10%, gets stunned up. Beautiful tech chase to close it out. Yeah, really difficult for Shichisu right there, just having to play on a constant back foot, but he really needs to try to turn this around if he wants to place a bit higher here in the Rumble. Because remember, guys, whoever loses here does end up getting fourth place. And the stakes are high as the second round will start. Shichisu looking to equalize the series one to one. And Glacial Beam opener for Bio not good. As he will be stunned up instead, launched up into the air. Shichisu having the upper hand this time around will connect beautifully off of the reflex roll. Tab escape was used by Bio. Shichisu now taking the advantage here, but the return is good for Bio. Didn't get dazed up by the tab escape. And now Shichisu will answer with the combo from up into the air and Shichisu doing a lot of damage onto his opponent. Bio dropping down to 60%. Beautiful display here by Shichisu. Dodges the ground ripple and Shichisu looking in great shape here. It does sit in that board, in that tundra. Burning tundra will be getting launched up into the air. Now Bio returning with a lot of pressure, but Shichisu still has that tab escape. Tab escape should be good for Bio as well soon enough. And Bio actually will be dazed up by that tab escape. Shichisu waiting till 3%. Really patient on that, but will be dropping down. Bio brings it back. Jeez, yeah, just maybe a bit too patient there. You know, waiting till the last possible second, all the way down to 2% HP just to burn out that uh, tab escape. But, you know, he got punished really hard, dropped really low. We saw there at the end. He tried to just get the counter to avoid damage, but it just wasn't enough. You know, 2% being really low, you can just kind of keep throwing in damage and your opponent might not be able to really deal with it. Just somewhat unfortunate. And I, I wasn't too sure whether he had self-defense Chi up there at the end, but I'm gonna assume he probably didn't, which is somewhat unfortunate. So with that though, that means Bio does go forward and Tsuchisu will be our fourth place contestant. And still uh, really well played by both of them. And as you mentioned, uh, I initially thought he would have that self-defense chi up just because um, his opponent 
the bio had it back up and it seemed like they used it both at the same time so mm -hmm. uh, it was it is definitely something that i was uh, curious about as well but unfortunately for him he will be ending up in fourth place still really well played once again a newcomer in the tournament scene and it's awesome to see him already perform that well and bio has been the staple soul fighter here over on the youth side of things mm -hmm. so still definitely a really rough opponent but as a result, we'll be going on into Bio versus Ryuki. And yep. Ryuki managing to get the win over Shichisu. We'll have to see if he can replicate that success versus somebody of the caliber like Bio. Because yep. Bio, uh, at least tonight, seemingly one step ahead uh, when compared to Shichisu. So we'll see if uh, Ryuki will be able to get the rematch versus Tena or if. Okay. Bio will um, get that win over him, but yeah, we'll be spamming that spectator button as we're trying to get in. Both players should be ready to go, and we'll see what they can bring to the table here. But once more, Ryuki, if he does make it out, he told me he had some real secret, super secret uh, strats prepared just for Tena. So I would be really curious if you will bring them out, hmm. and Bio can. Uh, once more, as said, go instead of the Tundra for that Whirlwind build versus Warlock. So we'll see what both of them will do here. Yep. Who knows? Maybe Ryuki's going to be bringing out that uh, secret blue buff. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, it looks like both contestants, though, are finally off and running. Body stuff not going to be able to connect here for Ryuki, though. The strafe going to be coming out from Bio to avoid that. There goes the HP increase as well, and Bio at 87% HP. We'll be seeing how he's going to be playing this out here. Self-defense chick coming down, ground ripple for the fall, following up with immediate damage. Tab escape, forced out of Ryuki. Plar immediately dropped down to the ground. Web coming down, bolt strike, drop, lightning rod as well. Tab escape burnt out by Bio, falls up with the glacial beam up into the aerial. Now down on the ground, Bio blinking forward to avoid out that time bomb here. Gets the counter on the body swap, but hits into the decoy with that, unfortunately. Burning Tundra coming down now as well, Ryuki replacing that far, but dropped down to 20% HP in the King Fist. Coming in, looks like it actually missed there though. Ryuki now may able to come back though. Falling up with the Lightning Rod, Bio down to 70% HP. Mine on the ground still, waiting out. Does manage to get that pop. X Dagger gonna be coming in. LMB stun as well. Close shade for an extra bit of damage. Falls up with the Dagger, Shadow Slash to knock him down to the ground. Gets the kick. Lightning oh. stride into the high wire. Body swap for the fall up and LMB stun and Ryuki cleans this out with a nice looking 100 to zero. And what, what a nice comeback there. I thought Bio uh, should have that tap escape back up soon enough, but it seems like I was wrong and Ryuki getting that first round win in the end. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely a really clean combo there overall. Just making sure to not drop any part of that whatsoever. All right, both contestants now coming in here. Bio trying to wait out, but the body swap will connect it for Ryuki. Tab escape immediately burnt out here by Bio. Self-defense she used. King Fist coming back in, but not going to be able to deal all that much, unfortunately. Strafe coming out, blinking back, blinking forward, trying to knock him out of stealth. Does manage to get the knockback, but going to be get hit up into the aerial here. X-Stealth was burnt out by Ryuki, dashing back in. Bolt Strike coming down here for the three second stun into the fall up by Lightning Rod. Cool Shape dropping down as well, does proc out the mine here. Gonna be going back in, gets the daze off of the time bomb, gets the kick. Ryuki going with X-Dagger and cleaning out Bio here efficiently in the second round. And that's what I was talking about previously. That's the Ryuki Widow, the pinpoint precise surgical uh, combo display, just not dropping it once given the opportunity to set it off. So beautifully played and manages to get that win. Uh, clutches it out in that first round and then plays it beautifully in the second one. So Ryuki overcoming his uh, initial fear of uh, getting the win over the two Soul Fighters tonight. Mm -hmm. And now um, it means that at the very least, he's going to get second place again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> at the very least. But... Oh, man. Do you think he can break the curse gum? Is this the time Ryuki breaks it? Um, if he really does want to do it, you know, obviously Tenna, he already won once today. That's just a fact, right? Uh, Tenna, you know, being a really strong player, Ryuki's definitely going to have to bring something a little new to the table. Maybe try to win the match a bit faster. 
First time we saw them, obviously, Tenna got the time distortion twice in a match. And usually, if they get it off twice, you're in for a heap of trouble. You're usually pretty low. Time distortion will easily chunk out that last bit of HP near the end of the match. So he's definitely going to have to be trying to win it out a little bit faster than he was maybe last time. Or maybe try to just stall and play more defensively. Keep stealth when time distortion's going off. There's a lot of options he needs to be thinking about here. So we'll see if Ryuki is able to keep his composure as he was just in that previous match. And as you can see, the stakes are definitely high as the prizes are exceptional here. Once more, huge shout outs to Corsair for powering up the tournament and bringing uh, them some really, really cool prizes. So Most definitely. And of course, we'll you know, uh, Bio did actually just claim out that third place prize here for himself as well. So definitely a really big feat to be watching out for. Congratulations over to him, but it looks like both of our contestants are finally jumping into the match. You're right, awesome stuff. And as I said once more, it will be a best of three spars, meaning that uh, the victor here tonight will have to win two spar series to win it all. So we'll see who will come out on top as the first round is going to be shortly going underway over on the blue hand side. First finalist, Tenna, second one in red, Miyuki. The first round will start. Flowers already down for Ryuki. Position swap will not connect as Ryuki now going in with the Lotus Fury. Mine missing as well. Bastion up and ready for the Warlock Saints of the Follow Suit. Frawl will be summoned and Tenna already down at 78%. We'll be able to heal back up just a tiny bit. Ryuki now will be stunned up by the pet cube, but time distortion already popped by Tenna. Tenna playing super aggressively here. Tries to get Ryuki, but Ryuki manages to weather the storm for now as he even gets the KD off. Now follows it up with the mine antenna. Not in too hot of a shape here as he will be still potentially in trouble here. Ryuki will try to go back in, but Bastion will be used by Tenna and Tetherblade will connect. Ryuki will be obliterated down already to 30% even without the time warp being up and now mine. Will keep him safe for an extra while, but the Frawl Summon will be up and available. Web will go down. The Poison Breath is good, but nicely done by Ryuki to dodge the pet stun. And now we'll be able to knock him up into the air. Pile Driver is the follow up. And Ryuki, can he still bring it back? 10% HP left. Will be forced to go back into that stealth, but gets popped out of it. And Tana gets the first round win. Yuki not managing to get out in time, and that meets Senna. We'll close it out with the first part victory already. Very nicely done. Tenna just on his A game today, you know, just bringing out lots and lots of damage right there. You know, Ryuki forced to use both uh, tab escape effects, Flower, into his normal tab escape with the rollback. Uh, almost immediately, and then time distortion will easily clean that out. You know, Tenna can just keep using those resets off of Wingstorm to just keep trying to poke his opponent out of stealth, and eventually he did catch him out, and then the Imprison to just fall off with some easy damage, which was really, really good there for Tenna. Playing it really clean and just pretty much always winning these openers, which is something Ryuki is definitely seemingly struggling on. Wants to be able to catch him out as soon as possible to force out those early cooldowns, but Tenna just always on the aggressive with those time distortions here. And that's the big problem here, right? As you mentioned, the way you can generally uh, edge out an advantage in these matchups versus Warlocks is to force them to use those uh, big cooldowns like Time Distortion or mm -hmm. if it is the case uh, even the Soul Baron defensively instead of aggressively so unfortunately for Ryuki this does mean he will be down one series and Tenna looking definitely poised to win it all here and unfortunately for Ryuki the curse might still be in second place the second place hat trick might mm -hmm. be uh happening soon but <laughs> oh man see if that will actually happen as mm -hmm. we should be ready to go into the next round already and as you can see on your screen tenna being one having a 1-0 lead into the series for our grand finals as should be ready to go once yep. more spamming that spectator button and real key not seeing the super secret stats, nothing too unusual coming mm -hmm. out of him. And uh, 
Tana, just playing it as safe as possible, not going for some cheeky builds like we've seen Yis or Yisuni on an A with uh, even obliterate for uh, <laughs> that frost. So we'll find out soon if we will head into what could very well be the final series of the night as both players are ready and already in Ryuki versus Tana once more. Mm -hmm. Definitely curious to see what he might have been referring to. Who knows? It could be blue buff, it could be ice mine, it could be bombard. It's There's really any guess to uh, what Ryuki might want to shape out his build with. But here it goes, guys, to our second round. Could, or a second match, could very well be the last. So give your energy, give your pot champs to who you want to take it all. Both contestants wearing their respective clan uniforms as well, though, looking real nice. X Delta to save out Ryuki. Can we get that LMB stun? Up into the aerial here, dropping him down into the web. Tab escape immediately out from Tenna. Gonna be dropping down to sink them as well. The lightning rod to cancel out the thrall summon. Poison breath into the lightning strike. Tenna dropped down to 60 ish percent HP, slowly healing up. Small bits there. Thrall stun gonna be coming out. The flower was already used as well. Chains coming down. Lots of damage out from Tenna side. Time distortion still available. Dropping it down now. Bastion coming out here for his side. Now waiting out SS coming from Tenna to get closer here. Close out that gap. Mine will get the fall up though. Body swap as well, but no real fall up there. In prison, thrown into the party decoy. The really unfortunate bull start coming down, but the dash is gonna be keeping Tenna alive for quite some time. Wingstone did not for Yuki out of stealth here. Coming back, rolling back now. Does manage to land out the tether blade. Tenna now with the dagger in his back, getting knocked up into the area, but Ryuki down to 15% HP. Tab escape should still be available here for Tenna. Lightning Rod coming in. Does manage to roll back SS into the Thrall Summon, but does not manage to get it. Body Swap coming down here for Tenna's side. Dagger connects. There is the Shadow Slash. Tenna in a dangerous oh. position and finished off here by Ryuki. And Ryuki. Oh man, can he get the first sweep started already? Clutches it out for that first round into the second Spar series. Alright, here goes the immediate opener with the body swap out from Ryuki's side. Tenna now dropped down to the ground. Gonna be backing out here as well. Same thing, gonna be getting procced here. Prison coming down, Thrall now waiting out. Ryuki just dealing a lot of damage here with that lightning strike as well. Dropping Tenna down to 60% HP. Flower is used into the X stealth as well. Tenna now having to play back, uses the repulse, not gonna be able to get the connection that he's looking for. Knocked out of stealth outside the blade for the fall into leash. Time distortion getting dropped down here as well. Guard break chains for the follow up. I'm not gonna be able to land it. CI frame buying Ryuki plenty of time and into the decoy for the extra I frame as well. Shadow Slash is gonna be coming down here for his side. The throw aerial out of Thrall will be the fall for Ryuki down to 11% HP, but Thrall now disappearing off into the other dimension. This is Ryuki though coming in with lots of damage. Tab escape forced out here by Tenna. Fall by Imprison. There is the roll up from Tab escape. Tenna 25% HP. Thrall back out. Ryuki down at 4%. He needs this round. Coming back. Shadow Slash for Tenna to the ground. Flower waiting off to the side. Q I frame to save him from the Thrall stun. Repulse is used. Poison breath to heal him back up. Tenna down on HP. Wingstorm gonna be coming out here as well. Thrall swap is used. Tether Blade pops for Ryuki down to 15% HP. Tenna at 10. And the Lightning Strike actually cleans it out here for Ryuki. And Ryuki. Now finally showing some signs of life, finally getting a win on the board with uh, the Equalizer now managing to get a 1-2-1-3 one, one, Equalizer. And oh man, what a close one as well. Nice. Plays it really, really well, plays it safe and clutches it out in the end. And I like the fact that he knew exactly his times and his openings. Uh, towards the end, before the uh, Frawl time out, he really just went back in at the exact nick of time like right yeah. as the uh the spawn and managed to get tenna uh down and out and really well played yeah. so as a result once <laughs> again we will have another series on our hands tenna and ryuki oh so close once more mm -hmm. and now with ryuki finally showing some signs of life let's see which one will come out on top but as you can see on your screen once more, they're fighting for some real good prizes here as first place. Definitely want to grab that those uh, $600 alongside uh, the two costumes and the keyboard with oh, yeah. the mice and the mouse pad. So 
We'll see which one will be able to come out on top as our final round of the night will be started up once again. Ryuki versus Tenna, Warlock versus Sin. So both players, both contestants ready to go already in the arena, eager to close it all tonight. And uh, man, what a series so far. What a series indeed as the first round once again, as I said, well, it should be starting up unless we're having some issues. Oh, never mind. I think we're good. Should Someone be good. Oh, right. May have had connection issues. Looks like gentleman's agreement for 245. All right. So round will be able to finally start. Tenna already popping that bastion, and Ryuki getting the re stuff off. Tries to disengage, goes back in, gets a stun dagger. It connects as well, launches his opponent up into the air, will web and down on the ground, and no frawl to keep its master safe as Poison Breath will connect. And now Sanctum down. Lightning Stride will connect, but Tenna, when Storm is up, Helix damage is good, and Ryuki already down to 48% HP. No time warp used by the Warlock. You not looking good as Tenna SS is into the time warp. Tries to play very aggressive here, but Ryuki reads it nicely and still got stunned off by the pet Q. He chased down and now got uh, Tenna manages to catch him out of stealth and Ryuki dropping down to 7%. Tries to go in, tries to survive, but Tenna with 93% HP left looking great shape here as Ryuki tries to answer, gets the web. Now looks for the Poison Breath, will be able to sustain back up just a bit, but can Ryuki do it? Done setup is good. Tenna, though, will have the Brawl back up for 85% HP. Ryuki with 11% remaining, and the position swap is good. Lightning's trying to follow, so Ryuki, can he do it? Stun will connect, Sanctum will be down, Flower will be used. Ryuki plays it safe, disengages, and now still 3% HP re remaining. Can he somehow do it? No. Wingstorm will snipe him out <laughs> in the end. Definitely uh, really close there, Ryuki. Almost pulling it out in the nick of time, but just not able to wait out for all of that. You know, the Bastion protecting from the Bolt Strike right there at the end. With the nice comeback by Tenna. So really well played as the, what could very well be the final round will start. Ryuki already in great shape. will be able to web his opponent down on the ground. Pretty similar results to the last round in terms of the opener for Ryuki, but the defensive play for Tenna is good. We'll keep him safe, Bastion. Will also be able to heal him back up just a bit. Frawl will be out, but Ryuki will go back in with the stun follow up, but manages to dodge the stun coming out of the pet. Tenna still on the back foot. We'll try to connect with the Tether Blade there, I believe, but it will not hit. And now we'll be going for that time distortion. SS is back into it, but still Ryuki looking pretty good here. We'll be able to get the dagger back up. Tenna. Not manages, not managing to get him out of stealth. Will be looking in real bad shape as Ryuki gets the knockup. Frawl will despawn and Ryuki looking poised to finish it all off. Now Tenna will be forced to use his escape. Bastion to keep him safe and with Wingstorm will pop him out of stealth. But Ryuki gets the poison breath. Will use his tap escape of his own and will manage to close it out in Ooh. the end. Yeah, Ryuki getting the uh, stun right there and the time distortion, forcing Tenna to play more defensively during time distortion's cooldown, which is definitely a really big feat there, just turning the match right on its head. And as a result, such a close series, bringing it the distance as Tenna opens up aggressively, way better opener coming out of the Warlock Crawl, will be summoned and out already. Ryuki looking to play it safe, will disengage, Flower is down, now looking for an opening, but will be stunned up by the Terra Blade. Tenna launching his opponent up into the air for the first time. Headfallen will be used Bastion as well as Sanctum is out. Ryuki though will get out of there with the flower. It tries to go back in, but the time distortion will be used and Tenna now will be hunting down his prey, but does not get to aggress onto Ryuki. Ryuki now trying to find another opening. Playing aggressively when needed, will get the knock up into the air with the frawl just despawning as well. Web follow up is good, and now Ryuki, can he get the round win off of this? Will uh, Tenna will be safe off of the Bastion? Should have the frawl back up soon, but Ryuki will drop his opponent down to 55% HP. 
The poison breath is good. Knock up to follow it up. And now Ryuki looking in real good shape. Tenna dropping to 30%. HP will have the dagger on him. And Ryuki gets the follow up off of the mine. Tenna now in big trouble. Will be stunned up. And Ryuki breaks the curse and gets a first place finish for the Rumble in the Realm. Oh man. Yeah, really nicely done out there by Ryuki. Both those rounds where he did win, he ended up getting a CC off onto Tenna as that time distortion's going off. And Tenna is not able to use Wing Storms, not trying to focus on his opponent. He's having to burn out cooldowns, trying to rush so he can get to that more aggressive standpoint. But it sadly just was not enough there for him. And of course, getting caught out without Thrall being around could just be lights out for Tenna. And it surely was right there. So definitely congrats over to him for claiming that first place prize. Hands. Ryuki clutches it up, manages to not only uh, win it all, but make it back from a one spar series uh, loss and a pretty, pretty devastating loss at that. So really nicely played to make sure he keeps his composure and he manages to play it out well and just get the win over his opponent in the end. And as a result, he will claim that first prize as you'll be able to also see in a second here on your mm -hmm. screen, some real nice uh, prizes overall for every contestant, of course, once again, uh, Tenna won't be going home empty-handed. Some real uh, good showing will net him a couple of real good prizes there for himself as well. And uh, once <clears throat> more, really, I would definitely have to say that we had some real tough competition in the EU side of things, some real uh, nice uh, matches overall, and once more, it's just been an absolute blast to see, really. And uh, mm -hmm. once more, before we um, close it all out, I want to mention the fact that there will be a winner interview on the official Blade & Soul <clears> website. <throat> so definitely make sure to check it out. Keep your, keep your eyes peeled for that one. Yuki now definitely should have really interesting stories to tell. <laughs> I'm really curious what his thoughts are right now that he not only managed to win over Tenna, finally, and also break the second place curse, but mm -hmm. uh, he wasn't really looking up uh, coming into this one as having two soul fighters of the cal the uh, high caliber that he had to face. Uh, he wasn't really looking in tip top shape, but still manages to get that win. And once more, congratulations to him. But yeah. uh, if you mm -hmm. missed out on the previous matches, make sure to also follow the uh, official Blade of Soul YouTube channel as the VOD will be posted there. Of course, make sure to also follow the Twitch channel as the North American uh, tournament will be going live in a couple of hours from now. Definitely yep. don't want to miss out on that one. And the Twitter, official Blade & Soul Twitter for any news. And uh, once again, Gummy, where can people find you? You can find me, Twitter link right below. And of course, I stream over at twitch.tv slash Gummy Senpai. You can see me on every now and again. And where can people find you, Bruinch? They can find me on twitch.tv slash Bruinch for whenever I stream and over on Twitter, as you can see down below on mm -hmm. uh, Twitter slash Mr. Burns. So definitely once again, huge shout outs to NCSoft and Corsair for making this possible and making it another amazing rumble in the realm. It's been an absolute pleasure and an absolute blast to cast the, uh, these tournaments once again. And just to give you a small teaser as to what you can expect in the North American tour tournament, we have not one, but two Kung Fu Masters fighting for uh, uh, Dio's first uh, That's the prizes. Best part. So <laughs> we can definitely expect some real fast paced action over there as well. So, once again, thank you all for watching. My name is Brins, joined by Gummy here, and can't wait to see you in the North American tournament as well. And stay awesome. See you next time. Bye bye.